Hi, funny nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigan Zinc, and today's manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Kingdom Chapter 734. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone in this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or nerd reactions like this one. Feel free to hit it for cash up at PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, hey, Piggles. Hey, Piggles. You more piggy than cat? Or are you just a key? You're a key. Oh, he's an adorable little fussy key. But it's not key time. You know what time it is, key? You know what time it is, key? That's right. It's conky time. Yeah, it's more conky time. But I have to say this, and I've been saying it because I, I feel horrible. Conky, I am so sorry that those motherfuckers over at Studio Perry I gave you a Nancy Pelosi. Oh my god, what they did to what what they did to my boy. Oh my god. My my poor my poor man's my yes, I am calling him husbando. I can't believe this has happened. I never thought I would call Conky a husbando, but man he is husbando. They, if you see the visual for the Kingdom Anime, for what they what they did to Conky, what they did to my man's face, you will agree with me that that is some Nancy Pelosi shit. Oh my god, it looks so bad. It is some bad Botox and a bad facelift. Those fuckers need to be fired. Whoever, okay, that needs to be fired. But anyways, let's get back to the task at hand here. Where my boy Conky, getting his backstory... And we saw him fuck some pedos up, and that was everything. I love that he just walked up to him and, like, stabbed him in the eye. <laughs> that would be the best part. I fucking love that. Anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us today, and look at my baby. Look at my sweet Conky. I know, I'm, I can't believe I'm saying he's sweet, but I, I love Conky. Conky is, like, the best fucking character. Moten, I know. You have been replaced. Yes, you have. And this chapter is titled, How We Survive. Look at the- Yeah! I was tied up with the fucking knife in the eye! Bitch, you deserved it! You deserve that, you fucking pedo. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. If you don't believe me that this bitch is a pedo. He- You- You heard what this man said? He molested- He been molesting girls. Little girls. He a pedo. Oh, shit! Uh oh, you did Cocky stab him again? Yes, get him, Cocky! Wait, yeah, yes! Look at my boy! Look at my boy! He's there. He stabbed him, but he is killing motherfuckers with a knife. Oh my god! And he, this is this is not full blown adult Cocky. This is little Cocky, little Cocky. But I want a prequel just for this. But I, I can understand why Conky, like, kind of sees himself in Shin. I do, because let's be real, Shin would do the same fucking thing. Let's be real. So I, could, I see why Conky sees himself in Shin. I do. I totally see it. I freaking see it. You Conky bastard. Damn threatening. Die. Ooh. Ooh, he got the back of his leg. Ooh, shit. Not sharp enough. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I want to know what the fuck Conky was doing before he met up with the Saki clan. I want to know. What life have you lived, my man? Again, this is why I want a, I, I want a prequel. Just for that. Oh my god, if I could draw, I would do it. Amazing. Four people in a flash. See, again, I have to point this out. Roboku, especially you. You dumbass. You underestimate this man. And this is when he was a kid, he was doing this. And he's all grown up now. And he's got more experience. And you still, and you underestimate him? Mm-hmm. That's why I'm like, I'm, I keep laughing when these motherfuckers underestimate him. Because it's like, dude, you guys are stupid. And I just, I can't help but think of shit. It's like, dude, don't underestimate shit either. Or Moten. Don't underestimate them. Or Kyokai. But anyways. There's there's only one left. 
Um, what are you playing at, you damn brats? We're gonna slaughter all of y'all. <laughs> Trying to sound tough, huh? Just one old man. <laughs> Which is, uh, look, I gotta read this again, sorry. Trying to sound tough, huh? Just one old man against all of us brats. Yee, I get him! Um, Jacuji, Santa, Kihan, and the others, too. Um, damn brats, adults ain't just for show. You couldn't kill me even if you bastards grouped up. We couldn't? I alone took four of you, no, uh, no sweat! <laughs> Just like I love the kitty. Oh, the creepy kitties. Dude, that was an amazing kitty flip. Mm -hmm. See, my kitty is like Conky. You don't underestimate him. He could flip. He's a flippy kitty, right? You flippy kitties. You flippy kitties. Yeah, he's a smart flippy kitties. I love you, Zen. Look at that. He's a smart kitty. But anyways, now I gotta reread this because you made me screw up. Damn brats, don't say it just for show. You couldn't kill me even if you bastards grouped up. Couldn't? I alone took four of you, no sweat. Let me get rid of this guy first, actually. <gasps> oh, shit! He's... Hey, what are you doing, you bastard? Stop! Conky, hmm? Didn't they beg like that, the other kids? Yes! Yes! Conky is delivering karma, and I love it. Oh my god, if if, people, if motherfuckers still hate Conky after this, I don't know what to tell you. Conky is everything. Oh, like, please, spare us. Stop. Yee, he cut the road. Yes, yeah! that's my boy. That's my boy. Oh my god, I needed this. I so fucking needed this. This is my man. This is Conky. He is everything. Ikaku. Ikaku. Damn you, you bastard. Stay back. I'll kill anyone uh, that comes near me. Dude, did you just throw a knife in his head? I'll kill... Um, now. You don't screw Brad. <laughs> you lost that knife in your head, bro. What? This is Pip. Yeah, the kids are stabbing him. Yes. This is great. For the others. Damn you, this is for everything you've done to us till now. Die, you asshole. They, they did it. They took out all five. They, they did it, yeah, but... Cocky, you, what the hell did you do? Shio, now that you've killed those men, the Rojo clan will come for, um, in full force and kill us all in retaliation. Cocky doesn't seem to give a fuck. They're all big and strong, and there's so many of them. We can't possibly stand against them. Um, we can't protect the children. What did you do? What did you do? Um, what did you do, Conky? Do you understand what you've done? <laughs> She's right. This is uh, the end for y'all. <laughs> the boss of us, Rojo, doesn't forgive traitors. He knows that we came here. <laughs> y'all won't just die. You're gonna suffer plenty. Yeah, but before all that, <laughs> where's my thanks? Huh? Thank you for saving me. No. Uh, thank you for saving me. No. What are you saying? Whatever happens to me doesn't uh, matter. It matters. You guys are messed up. You've all gotten way too used to having things taken from you. That's all messed up. That's just messed up, isn't it? I love this man. I love this man. But we're too weak. Eh, it'll be alright. Just leave it to me. I'll take care of everything. How can you hate this man? How? It turned out okay in the end, didn't it? How did you patch things up with the clan after killing their guys? Well, we didn't patch anything up. <laughs> oh my God. What do you mean? Well, we killed them before they could kill us. <laughs> oh my God, what? The uh, Royal Clan was a truly large group of bandits. So, so large, in fact, they had no threats around them. The security at their base was lax. The imp oh, dude. History about to repeat itself, huh? Mm-hmm. We infiltrated them by blending in with their numerous child servants. And killed the Rojo clan leader in his sleep. <gasps> Yo, they did what? Oh my 
my god, Conky mixed something in their boot into their booze, and everyone at the feast became dead drunk and fell into a deep sleep. It was easy work. Dude, that's fucking awesome. Kill them before they can move, exactly as Conky planned. You can't be saying a bunch of brats took down a whole clan. They just did. We didn't take them down. They were too big for that. We just weakened them. We took out several of their leaders at the same time. If you didn't take them down, then surely they came after you for vengeance, right? To retain their honor, at least. Um, if you didn't take them down, then surely they came after you for vengeance, right? Exactly so. And because of that, we regrettably had to abandon that place. Oh. A little opening in the mountains where we uh, could live quietly. There was a small river nearby. It was a nice, uh, quiet place. Oh. Uh, it was our own um, place of heaven, which we carefully built up with our own hands. As expected, there were some who grumbled and um, they didn't want to leave, but there was no choice staying behind that, um, staying that getting slaughtered. Even then, there would have been pursuers. Uh, did you give them the slip? And there's no way we could have. No matter where we ran, um, their killers were always on our tails, or always on our trail. It wasn't enough to just aban uh, abandon our lands. And that's why Conky. What did he do? Everyone come quick. Conky has two guys from the world got uh, caught our traps, but Conky has just come. You'll see. <gasps> Holy shit. Whoa, Conky. Look at this. Look at this shit. Dude. Conky is gangsta as hell. Dude, nah, you just don't fuck with the man. What? Conky? What the hell? This is... What kind of disgusting Conky? Guts are really long, huh? Dude, he struggles with God, the gods. You guys should step into the middle of this, too. I'm like, how are you, Will? So disgusting. Is something wrong with your brain? All right, if we do these kinds of messed up things, no one will come close, right? It's fucked up, but he has the right way of thinking. Conky, are you saying you... <laughs> when you don't have brawn, you gotta use your brains. Acting normal won't keep us alive. Conky is fucking smart. We gotta do the things that no one would ever do. Dude, Hara, these guts look amazing. This is how... Uh, you're saying this is how we survive? Yeah, this is a way to, uh, to make it so that no one will dare hurt you, any of you again. Aww. Got it. I'll do it. I'll do it, damn it. Me too. I will too. And me. Show us how you do it, Conky. That was the birth of the Saki clan. Yeah, that's right. From that day on, we abandoned ourselves to do... Dude, this is insanity. Dude, they're putting all these body parts on, like... Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm sorry. But, whoa. We caught people in traps and quivily displayed and defiled their corpses in ways unimaginable by humans. Holy shit. Dude, look at the eyeballs. Oh my god, this is so creepy. That's not gonna get animated. That will be censored. Watch. At first, we also thought we were getting sick in the head, too, but we told ourselves it was all to keep the enemies... <laughs> they were thinking they were sick in the head. Dude, you probably were. It was all to keep the enemies away and to protect our friends. Um, well, we got used to it pretty quick, though. Uh-huh, did we? <laughs> and the pursuers? Well, one day they just stopped coming. We were doing some pretty messed up stuff. <laughs> um, to the point there were rumors that we weren't even human. It all turned out exactly like Conky said it would. Conky. Um, by the way, I'm the one that suggested the name Saki. Conky asked us for scary names, and I told him a story my grandpa used to tell me about a demon that would drag people under the sand. He said that sounded good. Does that mean sand demon? I mean, good for you, but I don't know who you are. So when the boss said, um, when you said the boss created the Saki clan, that's what you meant. Wait a second, that was the story of the Saki clan. Um, th that's different than the story uh, Naki wanted to hear, yeah? Show. Show? Naki, um, wants to know what kind of person Konki is. To know what exactly is the rage that burns in his core. Yes, yes, 
rage. So we have to tell them about what happened the day. Conky, oh, Conky attacked the Lord who burned my face. Holy shit, that is gonna be good. It's interesting that earlier today, I covered when I covered Undead of Luck. There was this rage that we were seeing with Victor as um, Ruiz was uh, being killed. Oh, we're getting this too with Conky. Dude, I cannot wait for Conky's rage. <laughs> Conky's rage was probably something that started even before he met the Saki clan, but oh god. Hara, this art was fabulous. I am sorry it is being bastardized. I am. You deserve better. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. Holy shit, I love Conky. Conky's the best fucking character in this manga. Motherfuckers gotta stop underestimating him. I gotta wonder if Oth- No, Oson admitted he was underestimating Conky. Oson knows he underestimates Conky. He's, he knows he's gotta stop doing that. But... Roboku, dude... Now that I think about it, what he did on the battlefield when you remember when he cut out, um, beheaded all the soldiers, compared to what we saw here, that was tame as fuck. But what Coach out to the Rido though, that's interesting. It was like Conky was getting a taste of his own medicine, don't you think? It was like a little bit of karma. It's interesting. Maybe that's another reason why he was mad. He's like, oh motherfucker, you know what we did, and you're trying to. You are trying me. You try me. Nah, this is not how you do it. We're gonna fuck with you and show you how shit is done, especially since you took the bitch way out. But anyways, I can't wait to see how he fucked up the lord that burned his face. I can't wait to see how Conky fucks up a lot of these motherfuckers that underestimate him too. But like it all makes sense though. Like what like when Conky said, um, remember uh what was it? It was a while ago when I think it was Rido who said it before he died, like right before he went to battle and died, was um, that Conky loves to be pushed into a corner and underestimated. <laughs> this definitely explains a lot. But ooh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. Love what we're doing. I want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more Kingdom content. Any ways you could do that, donate to our cash at PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network, that's in the description box below as well. Till next time, nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.